Hi, I'm Mike Brightman, author of the SketchUp workflow for architecture. Would you like to save time during every phase of the design process? Spend less time drafting in 2D and more time designing in 3D. Eliminate expensive, over-featured drafting software from your computer. And implement efficient BIM strategies for creating construction documents? Then the SketchUp workflow for architecture is for you. The SketchUp workflow for architecture provides the missing set of SketchUp and layout standards that your entire team can work within. This book is divided into four parts, starting the flow, SketchUp, layout, and the architectural design process. In part one, you'll be directed to several resources to find suggested prerequisites and additional multimedia content that complements the text. Provided are video tutorials, title blocks, scrapbooks, and case study projects with immaculately organized SketchUp models attached to layout construction documents. You will explore common BIM features, be encouraged to define BIM for yourself, and ultimately realize how affordable implementing BIM is with SketchUp Pro and Layout. You will also learn project management strategies for naming, organizing, and archiving your important files and folders. In part two, you will start with an intermediate level introduction to the tools, settings, and features included in SketchUp Pro. Advanced topics include best practices, modeling strategies, and most importantly, a thorough explanation of groups and components, and layers, styles, and scenes. You will apply these new skills by creating utility styles and standard layers, and then attaching them to utility scenes to be saved with your own custom default template. Utility scenes allow you to toggle between layer states, presentation modes, and diagrammatic views of your model. The scope utility scene shows existing entities in gray and new entities in green. This diagram is especially helpful when explaining the project scope to new members of the team. Part three is a complete guide to layout an often overlooked and very much underestimated program that is included with SketchUp Pro. Similar to the approach in part two, you will learn the basics of layout. Then you will learn how to optimize and flex the program for professional use. Included is a complete overview of all settings dialogs, inspectors, and the entire layout toolset. Advanced exercises explain step by step how to create a title block and scrapbooks. This makes it clear how you will implement your office's own unique graphic standards into this workflow. Completing and studying the exercises in part four will immediately expedite your design process and at the same time, advance your SketchUp and layout skills to a professional level. Keep in mind that the workflow presented in this book can be implemented or abandoned during any phase of the design process. In the site analysis chapters, you will learn how to conduct a digital site survey. Without ever visiting the site, this process quickly produces a site plan with topography lines and site sections. You will also learn how to add context buildings to your site from the nearby buildings collection and by creating your own accurate context building models from photographs by using the match photo feature in SketchUp. Before recording field measurements, leverage SketchUp's connection to Google Geo Apps by digitally pacing off a building prior to the site visit. Producing precise, as-built drawings is quick and easy using the techniques illustrated in this book. In the schematic design chapter, you will learn how to transition the completed existing conditions model to a proposed conditions model. Then begin designing using a clear set of rules for layering and model organization. Once a design is underway, you can easily export background drawings for consultants using the clear instructions provided in the scene organization diagrams. In the design development chapter, you will learn best practices for rendering in SketchUp and how to use the Orient Faces utility scene to prepare a model for photoreal rendering. In the construction documents chapter, you will learn how to generate all final plans, sections, and elevations from one dynamically linked SketchUp model. Scene organization diagrams explain exactly how to set up scenes in SketchUp and then compile the drawings and layout. The system presented in this book has been tried and tested to create construction documents for several different project types and scopes, from large tenant improvements to new residential construction. Stop duplicating work by bouncing between expensive, over-featured 3D modeling and drafting programs. All you need is SketchUp Pro and the SketchUp workflow for architecture. If you're ready to take your SketchUp and layout skills to the next level, dig into the SketchUp workflow for architecture today.